party last night. There's so, a great tweet that went out. Of is there? Yeah, Misha, you and Misha. Oh, yeah. yeah. Misha Man. Yes. He's, he, he's, he's one of my boys, yeah. I love all these guys who, you know, I, they're, they're like, John, John, and I like have massive crushes on all of them. <laughs> I just don't tell them. It's great. Do I do it? Extra help. So what can you tell us about dad and daughter bonding as the season starts off? I'm just grinning. <laughs> a big grin. So if that was written, it was a, a huge grin just opened up over his face. I'm tweeting Like now. the Joker. Yes, please do, because... Uh-oh, um, I am... Uh, no, I'm, I think it's going to be awesome. I am... Um, if I can describe it as probably the most dysfunctional, awesome relationship, father-daughter relationship that's going to be on television, to the point that it's actually going to be shocking, which is good. And I... Because I, I love shocking people on television, but also, people are just going to be going, what? what did, he did not, or she did not. Yeah, so, that's really all I can tell you. It's going to be more of a... Man, an, I'm not going to, I'm just going to shut up. Well, sorry. No, they haven't, which is, sorry, go ahead. What can you see about what come, or what do you want to see? Well, I'm a fan myself, so I'm going to talk as John Barrowman, the fan, not what has been written. I would love to see something happen, like if another big major villain came in, that Oliver had, and Ma Malcolm would have to come together with Roy and Thea. That's John Barrowman fanboy loving that, right? Who knows if that would happen? But I would also, I'd love to see, I, I want... Because Stephen and I don't get to do that many scenes together, and the scenes that we have done together, they cut because they wanted to keep that separation, and that's the unfortunate thing when you have a nemesis that you you're you're kept. It's like the love story; you don't put them together too soon because where do you go from there? So who knows if it'll happen this season? It may not be till season four or five, but I'm really looking forward to doing a scene with Stephen because I love doing stuff with him. Now, we've heard Colin Donnell is returning for a flashback. Is there any chance that flashback might also involve his father? I don't know. <laughs> you guys got to understand. I, I would love, as the fan, I'd love to tell you fucking everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on. I want to, you know, I want to just jump out there and go, you believe what's happening is awesome. I can't. I just can't. But Colin, but the thing that might be interesting, if, if this may give you something, Malcolm is extremely, he's grasping onto Thea because it's the one thing he has left that's part of his, his family, his life. He lost his son because he wasn't able to control him in the way that he wanted to, emotionally. So perhaps something might come up where this is going to feed on him or, or be in his conscience because he can control physically and uh, by you know destroying things and with his money, but emotionally he's not good at it. So what, are, I'm sorry. It's almost one of the things that Greg said is that in terms of um, Oliver and Queen Consolidated, there would be some sort of lots of changes, and in Oliver's team, there'll be a massive influx of cash. Could there be strings attached, possibly, with that, or are you connected in any possible? All I will say is, if I, I as a, a rich Malcolm Merlin, I'm going to give money away. There's going to be cables attached, <laughs> not strings. You're like a, you're like a suspension bridge, and I'm holding you up. And at any time, I could snap, 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 and splash. That'd be interesting. Mm. So uh, eventually, you know. You're good. <laughs> you are good. Uh, but I'm better. <laughs> Um, eventually, you know, you, you're going to meet uh, up with Ollie again at some point, and you weren't dead, and you... I wasn't dead. Let's just say where I trained... There were certain rejuvenated properties. Well, on the if you know the history of, yeah. of Nanda Parbat, uh, as I do because I have that DC encyclopedia next to my bed, and I'm a total geek and fan... Oh, yeah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I love. Y'all are geeks yourself. And, you know, the geek dumb. Geek dumb. Geek dumb. Um, there's some, yeah, rejuvenating qualities, but also he learned how to disguise being dead. Does that make sense? Or pretend to be dead by slowing everything down. So he wasn't really dead. Otherwise, he wouldn't have got up and walked away. Could he, those rejuvenating qualities help Tommy? That's... <laughs> really good. I'm just going to look around. 
somebody just dropped a bomb. I have no idea. That's awesome, though. <laughs> that would be really good. There are also these things called uh, what are the Lazarus pits that kind of come with some people that you may know. I just, I'm just saying that that. I'm gonna have to shut you up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to shut your mouth, <laughs> but in a good way. Yes. You'll like it. Okay. Unanswerable questions. <laughs> so on television, there's always the story about you know meeting the the daughter meeting the father's date for the or the father meeting the daughter's date for the first time. Oh yeah. What's gonna happen? I Is have no. Be, do you have a plan, or Malcolm have a plan for meeting Roy? Well, put it this put it this way. Malcolm is not. Although Malcolm hasn't been around, Malcolm would not just show up without knowing what has been going on. So Malcolm, I, this is again me as the actor, as the person, John Barrowman, a fan. It, he's obviously been watching and knowing what has happened, and that's how he's able to come in and then help the situation and and and, and manipulate it and take over in a way, right? So he knows that Roy exists. The new coming in, the oh, big whether, so whether he likes him or not, that's another story. Is that what we're talking about? A little bit. Is, is that what we're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm going to have to shut you up in a minute. But the new big bad that's coming in, the, the new, new villain, who? the new villain who? that's coming in, the serious <laughs> villain. Yeah, who? So is Malcolm going to be afraid of this person and their connection, or is he going to want to align himself with this person? I think Malcolm's fear, this is going to sound a little creepy, but you'll get it. <laughs> Malcolm's fear is is more, it, it's like an adrenaline pump, so when he gets afraid, he actually gets off on it, in blunt terms. So he doesn't mind fear, because when he gets afraid, it's, oh, it just it, it motivates him even more, and it thrills him a little bit, because of the risk, and if that person you're alluding to comes in, there's going to be great risk. <laughs> I'm, going to I can't, I'm going to have to shut all of you up. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I got to tell you. Sorry. Thank you.